Let's see how functions work in the Carol programming environment. We will teach Carol how to climb just one step. Then we will be able to call our function whenever it is needed in our program. First, we have to define our function. Defining a function means writing the instructions for the new word or action. Let's learn about the syntax needed for creating a new function. When you type the word function, the IDE understands that you are about to create a new function. After the word function, we put the name of what our new function is going to be. In this example, the name of our function will be climb stair. The name of the function can't be function. The IDE already knows the word function means that you are creating a new function, so this would run an error. There are some rules that we need to follow when naming a new function. The first of which is you need to use letters in your name. There should be no spaces in a function name, even if two words are used. If two words are used, you can use an uppercase letter for the first letter of each new word. Your function name should also match what you want the function to do. We are going to write directions for Carol to climb a step. So climb stair is an appropriate name for this function. You'll see that there are curly brackets here separated by a space. All of the code for what you want this function to do will go inside the curly brackets. Let's write code to help Carol climb one step. This code inside of the climb stair function will run each time the climb stair function is called. If we run our program now, nothing will happen. We need to call our function in the main program. To call a function means to run the function as a command in the main program. We use the name of the function to call it. In this example, we would use climb stair. A function is a command that the programmer defined, so it's called just like all of the other commands. Remember the syntax for calling a command. Start by writing the command's name, climb stair. Next, we put parentheses. These would hold parameters, but our function doesn't have parameters, so these parentheses are empty. At the end of our command, we place a semicolon, this tells the programming environment that this line of code is done and it can move on to the next line. As you can see here, we can call the climb stair function multiple times within our program, along with other commands. 